bought this a few days ago at a train show for only two dollars. In my last video, I shaped a piece of plastic to repair a broken front apron using an air fryer and various thicknesses of sheet styrene. My shell is looking pretty good right now, and I want the final colors to lay evenly across the old material and the new. To save as much detail as possible, I'll just prime the areas that were sanded through to the plastic and also the repaired areas where there's new, never before painted plastic. I'm going to let the primer sit overnight, maybe even two days, and then very lightly wet sand with 600 grit sandpaper. I want the final coats to be as smooth as possible, and wet sand in between coats helps. Now the base was taken apart, sanded, and it required only one coat of gloss black to end up looking like this. It's a shame most of the frame will be covered up because it's just so freaking pretty. There's still a lot of work to do on the shell, but I can put the motorized base back together now. The trucks and motor were cleaned and lubed up off camera, and I think this guy should run as good as new. Reattaching the wire from the pickup roller to the motor is the last step to refurbishing the base. Now this can be set aside and I'll move on to the shell. Even with multiple thin coats, Rust-Oleum spray can end up being pretty thick and I'd like to keep as much detail as possible. The blue sides have turned out pretty well and I'll let this sit for a few days before painting the roof red and the new apron black. Not to jinx anything, but this project is going very well so far. The other two engines that I repainted also went smoothly, so maybe I should just stay with Metro locomotives. Hmm, they do have a newer paint scheme with orange and red stripes, and those decals are available on eBay. I wonder. Finally, it's time for decals. And these are factory made and purchased from eBay. This set is made for an HO scale diesel, but this Alco is nowhere near a true O scale proportion, so the smaller decals should work well. A decal setting solution is not strictly necessary since these surfaces are so flat, but it would soften the decals and help them conform had they been installed over rivets or other raised details.
The stripes that came with the HO scale set would not really work on the nose of this Alco. Luckily though, I have some leftover stripes from an earlier Silver Streak train. I actually have a pretty large and growing collection of leftover decals. And I'm going to use up a few to finish this little Lionel model. Metro locomotives have a white stripe at the base of the shell, so that was masked and sprayed. And while I was at it, I also sprayed the rear of the body a nice glossy white. I just thought it looked nice. So my lucky Metro streak continues with this Alco. And next, I think I might try to make a caboose for Metro. It doesn't make sense, I know. It's a passenger line. Why would they need a caboose? But I think I'll give it a shot. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And until next time, this has been Bob's Workshop. Take care.